In this video, we're checking out the transparent 7-inch LCD display screen housing bracket. I did a previous review on a 7-inch screen. I want to see if that one fit on here. As well as I just, I thought this bracket was really cool. I think you could do a lot with it. You don't just need the exact screen for it. Um, the bracket itself is very cheap. If you want to get the bracket plus the proper LCD, they also sell that. And as you can see, that fits in here perfectly. Um, you'll notice with my bracket, I don't have the controls here. I also don't have the touchscreen controls either. Those go on both sides of this touchscreen here, it's keys here. And uh, then they have the uh, VGA and HDMI output as well. Um, this kit comes with everything you need and how to mount it for this particular screen. But the screen I bought previously would work for it. And many, many other screens are going to work on this just fine. So um, the bracket is just, for you makers out there, you could do a lot of interesting things with it. So let's check that out. All right, so I just finished the review on that unit there. And uh, I saw that they sold a case for the seven inch screen. This is one of the cheaper seven inch screens I found. So now I'm going to, okay, so what do we got here? We got some curved pieces, some rubber bands, a flat piece. We got left, this one says left on it. This one says R on it, that's good. And then you have the LCD panel, and a couple of uh, one rubber band, and then another piece here. HDMI key touchscreen. Okay, I have no idea what to expect here. First thing to do usually in all these units is to uh, get rid of the uh, the paper here. That in itself is a job. I believe it starts like this. And then this goes on here somehow. All right, so here is the LCD screen mostly put together. I haven't screwed in all the little screws here, but I found out this screen is not exactly meant for this particular model. You want one without the legs here, and so it sits flush. The other thing is this doesn't have the touch screen interface and the keyboard interface that goes here. Those are gonna be screwed in directly onto the board. So as you saw from the beginning of the video, uh, the back there is meant for like a video or audio module, or you could probably fit a Raspberry Pi 3 in there, or you could probably even fit both, um, even a case as well. There's plenty of room back there. And then when it's all said and done, you'll have your, your touch screen, your keys, and your screen all in one self-sustaining clear acrylic system. It even has rubber grommets for the um, tabletops. And uh, there you have it. So, um, I mean, if it was exactly for this screen, it's actually quite a cool little concept. It's got some like nice things. It's well labeled, which side is left, which side is right. And uh, it's got a tricked out way of doing the screws. Um, they're a little hard to put in, but once they're in, like you can barely see the screw there. But uh, there's actually a screw in there, screwing in that joint, and all the joints are like that, kind of hidden, recessed screws. Um, and then there's a lot of cable management that you're not seeing here. There's, you can throw cables through this little hole right here, through this little hole in the bottom here, through the hole here, and then on the side here, you have more a slot for cables there, and then you can do anything you want in the back here. So. A lot of potential there. If you're looking to do a custom build or something like that, I definitely highly recommend it. It's fairly cheap, so that's cool as well. Let me know if you guys got any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.